All right. Hello, lovely people coming in. Today, you are joining this webinar that we're calling How to Get Rid of Toxic Products in Your Home and Replace Them with Healthier Essential Oil Alternatives, even, and here's the important part, if you're on a tight budget. So what we're going to cover today is we are going to talk about first recap all of the best essential oil hacks that came out of the recent reboot. Um, then we're going to talk about how mystery toxins are hiding in everyday household products. This, this became a big thing during the reboot, and we're going to dive a lot more in depth into that. We're going to teach you tonight on this webinar how to become what I call a label ninja. This is how to know which healthy products are actually healthy versus the green branded products that actually contain toxic chemicals. There's a huge difference there. We're gonna talk about a simple strategy to eliminate virtually every toxic product from your home um, without having to break the bank. And there's gonna be a special opportunity to eliminate all the toxins from your home and create the healthy home oasis that you've always dreamed of. So if you're new around here, I'm Samantha Lee Wright. I produce and host what's called the Essential Oil Revolution Podcast, which has been running with new episodes every week for free for the past four years. And this is really exciting news, you guys. Who, who here listens to my podcast, The Essential Oil Revolution? Just raise your hand. Well, thanks to you all who are raising your hands, and I see a lot of hands raised right now. Thank you, Patricia and Maggie. We just this week reached our three millionth download. Isn't that so exciting? And that's thanks to all of you here who listen to the podcast. I also recently hosted the Essential Oils Transfer Transformation Summit. We had over 100,000 attendees um, on that event. It was so much fun. Raise your hand if you came to the Essential Oils Transformation Summit as well. We had over 30 expert speakers there. Some of my favorite people in the world were there teaching about essential oils. Um, I'm also a childbirth educator and a doula, and I'm a wife and a mother of two kids. Now, after my first baby was born, I really struggled with postpartum depression and anxiety. It was a terrible feeling. I was a first time mom. I was just petrified of everything. I had no idea what I was doing. And my anxiety was so bad, I couldn't, I just couldn't sleep. Like even when my baby, and that's my sweet August there, who's on top of his dad, or even when he was sleeping right next to me, completely fine, completely safe, my mind just could not shut down and allow myself to stop worrying, which resulted in extreme sleep deprivation, which we all know that never goes well. I felt just completely out of control of my emotions and then sub subsequently my health, of course, and my life, my self-care during this time of being a new mom went completely on the back burner, which, you know, made me really no good to anyone and not feeling capable of showing up a hundred percent for the people you love most in this world is I think one of the worst feelings anyone can have. So it took me a long time to regain a level of self care and confidence in myself again. And a huge part of that was essential oils. They came into my life when I was pregnant with my second, my little Layla, who's on top of my shoulders there, she's five years old now. And um, the experience between baby number one and baby number two when essential oils were in my life was just like night and day. Not only did the essential oils help me heal from my emotions from what I had experienced from baby number one, but they also empowered me to know how to take care of myself and my family. And it was just such an empowering experience. They were so easy. They were so immediate. I remember pulling frankincense off the shelf um, on day three postpartum. I'll never forget it because I, I was feeling like this anxiety coming back on, this ungroundedness coming back over me and just walking to my shelf and going, all right, 
who's going to help me today? And I pulled down the frankincense and I rubbed it on my ears, rubbed it on my chest, and I just breathed it in. And it was like a light bulb went off and it immediately helped me feel more grounded, more able to slow down and think more clearly and really take the next step towards self-care from there. So it's just a huge moment for me. And I used to think that my wellness toolkit was limited to either really gross tasting like teas and herbs or really complicated herbal remedies or really expensive practices like ongoing acupuncture or ongoing chiropractic care. And all of those things are wonderful, but essential oils really opened me up to a whole world of natural remedies that to me were so much more approachable and affordable and just easier to implement on a day-to-day basis. And to me, that just gave me so much power as a mom and as a person. It just was a, a great feeling. So I love empowering others and educating them about essential oils. As, as I say on my podcast at the end, every time you are worth it, you are worth taking the time to be here tonight, to learn something new, to take care of yourself and to invest in your health and your happiness with the time here today. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by going over the recent five day essential oils reboot that so many of you, we had over 7,000 people participate in this reboot. It was um, so much fun. I got so much amazing feedback from people who um, love to start their new year out with this sort of level of of dedication to their self-care. So if you are one of those people and you're here tonight, give me a shout out in the comments about what your favorite part of the reboot was. Let all the participants here tonight hear what was your favorite part of the reboot Um, And maybe share something that you learned with the people who are here tonight who who weren't there for the reboot. Um, So for the pre-challenge, what we did is we, before day one, for people who came in early, we talked about how to get better sleep with essential oils. I really wanted to start with sleep because to me, your day doesn't start when you wake up. Your day starts when you go to bed because you know, raise your hand if you hear me, the amount of sleep and quality of sleep that you get is going to affect your entire day the next day, right? Yes, you all hear me. So just one night, I don't know if you guys knew this, this statistic when I heard it was so incredible to me. Just one night of only four or five hours of sleep decreases your natural killer cells. Those are the cells that attack your daily appearing cancer cells in your body. They decrease those natural killer cells by 70% when you only get four or five hours of sleep in a night. Isn't that crazy? Not to mention the lack of sleep is linked to stress, anxiety, obesity, depression, heart disease. I mean, I don't think there's anything that cannot be linked to lack of sleep. So that's where we started for this challenge. We shared some really easy tips for using oils to help. So I'm going to go over some of those those best uh, tips and takeaways. The most popular essential oils from the group of people who did this challenge um, and used them to get better night's sleep were vetiver essential oil, pine essential oil. Pine was huge. I mean, you guys, I know pine is not a a sleepy oil that a lot of people hear about. So um, I recommended that one. And a lot of you were like, whoa, that was a game changer for me. Um, Lavender, of course, cedarwood, bergamot, and ylang-ylang. So, you know, I gave a few uh, blends you could try, blending vetiver, lavender, and cedarwood, or lavender, bergamot, and ylang-ylang. A lot of people really liked that. Um, This is some of the feedback we got from the Better Sleep with Essential Oils Challenged. You know, Kara said she loved learning how oils can help with so many things. Uh, Teresa said, I'm finally sleeping using all the essential oils. I put it on my first uh, essential oil about a year and a half, and now I'm sleeping for five hours now a night, much better than she was getting. So, um, Sharon said, I'm back to say that vetiver seals the deal. I always use lavender and cedarwood, adding vetiver made for a very restful night. So sometimes it just takes, you know, that one tip or that one recommendation for you to try to go, wow, this really works. 
Um, we also had a lot of people get really strange dreams as well. So that was something that a lot of people could talk to each other about. And we talked about how essential oils can really stimulate the brain in these different ways and, um, and how that can cause that kind of thing. Now, when we moved into starting up the essential oils reboot, we started with day one on hacking your stress with essential oils. I loved this challenge. Uh, people loved it too. So let me go back and explain what we did for those that weren't there. Our biggest takeaways, um, we know that stress is connected to everything. Anything and everything affects your health, but stress, I think, affects it almost as much as sleep. According to the American Institute of Stress, 77% of people regularly experience physical symptoms caused by stress and 48% report lying awake at night due to stress. And stress affects our sleep, our respiratory health, our cardiovascular health, our immune system, our hormones. Hello, who here is trying to lose weight? If you're trying to lose weight, you need to focus on stress. I'd say you almost need to focus on stress before you focus on food, dieting, exercise, you could be doing all those things. If you're not handling your stress levels, that weight is not going to come off because it's all related to hormones and stress, cortisol. Cortisol blocks your metabolism and your ability. Your, it's like having high cortisol in your body 24-7 literally tells your body to just store that fat on forever. Just store it up for a rainy day because life just feels stressful right now and that's what we need to do to survive. So we learned how essential oils can help with stress. The most popular oils that came out of this challenge by far were number one, there's a blend that Young Living makes called Peace and Calming. Woo, raise your hand if you love yourself some peace and calming. This oil is just such a lifesaver for people. The next one was Stress Away Essential Oil Blend. And then some popular singles were Frankincense, Ylang Ylang, and lavender and bergamot, especially ylang ylang, lavender, and bergamot, or bergamot, however you want to say it, together in equal parts, was a very great de stressor blend for a lot of people. And then the instructions that we gave her that day were super simple. We said, set an alarm on your phone to go off every two hours. When your alarm goes off, stop what you're doing, drop one drop of essential oil in your hand. And if you're using a blend, just do one drop of that blend, cup it over your mouth and your nose and take 10 deep, slow breaths in and out. Every two hours, we did that for the whole day and the results were phenomenal. People loved it. Here's some of the testimonials from that day. Patricia said, I've been using frankincense, busy day at work, but I'm feeling so zen. And I had a lot of people say that they loved the cupping technique over their hand. It was a real game changer for them. Oh, day two was where we gave a boost of energy using essential oils. We were hacking our energy with essential oils. So many people struggle with fatigue, exhaustion, so much so that they can't even find the gumption, the ump to make a healthy meal, to exercise, or just get through the day. You know, so we did a simple challenge for day two where we started the day out with some really energizing oils. We put them in the diffuser or people who didn't have a diffuser, we added a drop to the top of our head. People loved this exercise. Um, and then again, we did this in the afternoon to really give that boost in the middle of the day. But a lot of people had never heard of what I call oil dropping, where you just drop an oil, a, a dropper of oil, one or two drops on the top of your head, unless you're bald. If you don't have any hair, you probably don't wanna do this. But people really love this and they, can, you know, they really felt a difference when they did this. So the most popular energizing oils were peppermint or lemon and peppermint together. There was also a few blends people brought up. One's called NRG by Young Living and another one called Indoflex that a lot of people who want to specifically support their thyroid, and we know how much thyroid can affect our energy levels, um, rolling some Indoflex over your thyroid was another popular choice as well. People loved day two, boost your energy with oils. Um, 
Nan says, uh, using essential oils to increase energy was her favorite takeaway. She usually feels an energy slump around 4 to 5 p.m. and have uh, used peppermint and a citrus oil with tremendous results these past few days. So then day three, we were about halfway, over halfway there, and we decided to focus on water. We wanted to reboot your hydration. Um, this is where we focus on how much water are we getting and how can we get more? Our bodies are made of water. Half of our bodies are made of water. So if we're not replenishing those stores every single day, we can very easily become dehydrated, which leads to fatigue, blood pressure issues, weight gain, and more. Now there's two problems when it comes to hydration for people. One is people either don't know how much water to be drinking, or B, they just can't stand the taste of water. So to solve these two problems, first we gave a really simple formula for how much water you should be drinking. And that formula was half your body weight in pounds equals the amount of ounces of water you should be drinking per day at a minimum. That's half your body weight in pounds equals the ounces of water you should drink per day minimum. For this challenge, we added at least two cups of water or 16 ounces of water on top of that, specifically because during this reboot, we were using a lot of essential oils. And when you use a lot of essential oils, it can really stir some things up in your body and cause some detox reactions. And so we wanted to help our bodies flush those toxins out. Now to solve problem B, where a lot of people just can't stand the taste of water, we taught how to safely and effectively infuse your water with great tasting essential oils. So just to make it more palatable, the most popular ones were lemon, peppermint, grapefruit, and a blend called Citrus Fresh that's a blend of several different citrus oils and a little bit of spearmint. So you know the, the easy hacks here were it's not complicated. For about every one cup of water or two cups of water, use one drop of essential oils. So depending on how flavorful you want it, but really go by taste here. I think people naturally will not put too much essential oils in their water if they're going by taste. So one to two drops for every two cups of water and um, you're good to go and it can make your water taste so much better. If you want to add a little bit of salt or a little bit of honey, or a little bit of stevia, just the littlest amount to your water, it helps the essential oil bind to that substance and then mix into the water a little better. If you don't wanna do that and you wanna just do straight water, you can, but you need to shake your water really, really well every time before you take a sip. So um, it's best if you can add some sort of binder in there. And then the other tip to know about drinking essential oils is don't ever do it in plastic. So when you're drinking water that has oils in it, use glass or stainless steel and consult your essential oil bottle label. If the label of your essential oil that you're using says do not ingest or topical use only, then that is a red flag that you should probably not ingest that oil. There's a lot of labeling laws that make that statement a little complicated, but just as a rule of thumb, start there until you get to know more about essential oils and how to be more of a, a brand ninja when it comes to essential oils. For the uh, hydration challenge, there was a lot of people who said that it really helped them drink more water. Um, and I loved Deborah sharing that you know, her experience of adding more water into her life was part of her wellness journey. She lost 75 pounds. Um, and I just thought that was so amazing. Brooke says she loved to put a drop of cinnamon bark oil in her water. She loves drinking that through a straw. And there's a lot of people who gave some great advice about um, drinking out of a straw can actually help you ingest more water. So I thought that was really cool. So day four, was where we detoxed and de-stressed with essential oils. Um, this was where, I think this was my favorite day. So on day four, we focused on really the root problem that so many people are facing, which is toxic load. I'm gonna return back to this issue of toxic load in a few minutes, 
Um, I want to recap what we did on day four. It was sort of a two-parter kind of day. But what we did is we had everyone uh, make up a detox bath recipe using essential oils and bentonite clay and some Epsom salts. And we had them mix up that recipe and soak in the tub for at least 20 minutes. It was such a great day for a lot of people, I think mostly because we don't give ourselves permission to take baths <laughs> all that often. So uh, people love having that reminder of like, oh yeah, taking a bath is so de-stressing, especially when we're adding the aromatherapy of essential oils um, into that experience can be so de-stressing at the same time as detoxifying. And we're going to come back around to detox in a moment. But I love this from, um, from Della, sweet woman, Della. She said, I just want to let you know how appreciative I am of all this information. I've just started to detox my home with your help and also detox my body. I knew there were toxins everywhere, but did not know how to rid my, how, my home and myself of them until I ran into your courses. Thank you so much. Uh, Wendy said she loved the bath. She hadn't taken a bath since 2015, so I'm glad I got her back in the bathtub. Um, so that was day four. We'll come back to that in a moment. And day five, the entire reboot challenge was only five days long and only about five minutes a day of self-care. And the results people had were truly amazing. So I wanted to leave everyone with something they could take with them to continue that journey of self-care and healthy habits, carry that on into the rest of the year. So day five was all about setting clear intentions with essential oils. So what we did is we wrote out, I had people just write out one very simple affirmation or goal that they wanted to focus on for the rest of the year or the rest of the month. It was up to them. And here's the important aspect of this. I had everyone write down their affirmations or their goals in the present tense to really help their minds create this reality and to connect this goal in a really productive way. I am a big believer that affirmations and goals are so much more powerful when we write them as if they were already true. So if you follow anything about the law of attraction or things like that, what we put out and we attract to ourselves, it really works. So for example, if your goal was to lose weight this year or um, you know, go on more dates with your husband, instead of writing, I will lose 10 pounds, you would instead write, I am 150 pounds, whatever your target weight is, or I spend more, I, I go on more dates with my husband, or I am a great parent, I connect well with my kids or I focus on gratitude. If you wanted to make more money, instead of writing down, you know, I will make more money this year. I will make 1000 extra dollars every month this year. Instead, write down, I do make $1,000 extra each month. So putting it in the present moment, when you say it out loud, makes it even more real. And then pairing that with an essential oil is really where some magic happens. So we wrote down our affirmations. We picked out an essential oil that we wanted to pair with that goal. And, and really any essential oil would do. There's so many different you know, scenarios for people who wanted to lose weight. I recommended lime essential oil. Also, we were talking about uh, abundance is a blend if, you're, if your goal is like a money setting goal. So really up to you. You can pick lavender, frankincense, uh, a citrus oil, pair it with that affirmation and make and have them live next to each other. So tape your affirmation to your mirror or tape it somewhere up in your car and have your essential oil uh, be right next to it in the form of a roller ball or just the bottle of essential oil. And then when you read that affirmation, when you see it at least once a day, read it out loud as you breathe in that essential oil. This is going to make your goal setting way more productive. It's going to turn it into a multi-sensory experience, and it's going to trigger things in your brain that would not otherwise be triggered just from reading out that affirmation alone. So people had some great experiences uh, on day five. 
Uh, Charlotte says, thank you, Sam. I'll be pairing Rosemary with my intention. She's uncluttered her life and her surroundings. She got so much out of the reboot. The last thing that we did in the reboot challenge was we went through um, a list that we gave everyone of top five products in people's homes that that had ingredients to avoid in them. So we created a, a really easy to follow handout. Here's one of the, uh, the pictures of the handout that we gave out to everyone on day four. Um, we gave them a five page document. Each page listed a common household product such as toothpaste. And then the top ingredients to avoid in those products. We had toothpaste as a product, dish soap, we had hand soap, and these are just, this is just the top chemicals that are found in these, you know, sodium lauryl sulfate. It's in pretty much every hand soap <laughs> that you can find in the store, and it's so bad for our skin. Um, so, uh, triclosan, oh my gosh, such a bad endocrine disruptor. We did household cleaner as one. We did deodorant. So after we gave people this sort of guideline of, hey, here's the top products to search, to look at in your home, and here's the top ingredients that you don't want listed, well, we gave, for those five products, we gave solutions. We gave DIY solutions and purchase solutions. Here's an example for the toothpaste one. You know, if you want to make your own toothpaste, and I did a little bonus video where I showed how to make this sweet and savory brightening toothpaste. And there's also a detox and heal clay toothpaste recipe there as well. And then we also gave these vetted product options as well. So there's four different options. If you're not the DIY type, then here's some products that I have personally researched and looked into and have deemed safe enough for me safe enough for my family um, should you choose to buy instead of DIY. I use the Thieves Aroma Bright toothpaste. Y'all who saw me on that live video know how much I love <laughs> that toothpaste. It tastes so good. So um, here's, here's one of the big problems, okay? I know a lot of you are here because you love your essential oils. You want to live a healthy lifestyle. Essential oils can improve your health, but but if you haven't eliminated the toxins that are in your life, especially the ones in your home, using all these oils, doing all these healthy things, it's like you're taking one step forward and then two steps back. You can do all this work with essential oils to improve your health, but if you have toxic chemicals around your house, it's robbing you of your health. We know that the average woman applies over 168 chemicals to her body every day through things just everyday things like soap, makeup, hair products. You and I are going to have, by the end of our, life, our lifespan, 30,000 30, to 50,000 chemicals in our bodies that our grandparents didn't have. That is just bananas. It's just bananas, right guys? And these chemicals that are found in our products and our environment are being linked to skyrocketing growth uh, of, of chronic diseases. So, you know, big disclaimer, disclaimer here, guys. Obviously, these toxins are not the only contributor to our health problems and our health conditions, right? Obviously, but they can play a really big role a lot of people aren't aware of. So just as some some examples of things that are happening right here in our generation, childhood cancer rates have risen 20% in just one generation. Asthma has quadrupled in the past 20 years. Autism rates have increased 600% in 20 years. I believe that one's just in the United States. Um, there's some really serious health issues are rising at alarming rates. The problem is there's so many chemicals and toxins being added into our products without us knowing and without us even being able to necessarily read them all in the label. So one solution to this problem is simply to remove the toxins and the toxic products from your home and replace them with healthier alternatives. 
I know that sounds kind of simple, but for a lot of people, that can be really hard if you don't know what to look for and you don't know how to do that research. So we did that for you, for those, those five product examples. Um, plus, not only are you going to get rid of those toxins and replace them with a healthier alternative, but for those that include essential oils in their ingredients, you're then adding benefit into that. So you're not just remaining neutral or going non-toxic, but you're adding that, that extra benefit of essential oils into your life. Now, another really big problem out there that is contributing to this issue of toxic load is greenwashing. Greenwashing is everywhere. Since healthier options are becoming more popular, it's really easy for companies to hide their toxic chemicals that are actually in their ingredients behind green branding. So greenwashing is when companies create a product and then they package it using really deceptive marketing tactics to make it appear environmentally friendly or healthier than it actually is. And you see this every single day. Look at the front of this bottle, right? It looks pretty benign. Looks, you know, like, oh, it's got a plant on it and it's green. And look, if you look really closely, it's got that little, you know, plant leaf on it that says new look. And then if you flip it over, this is what I'm talking about. This, this, what I've got circled here is the greenwashing. Aveeno uses the goodness of nature and the power of science to keep your skin looking healthy and feeling balanced. That looks like they've got your back. They have the word nature in there, right? It's green. We can trust it. It says gentle for sensitive skin right on top. But if you look at the ingredients, look, I've circled cocoa madoyo bobo betaine. Sorry, I can't pronounce it. You know, that's, that's the, the dermatitis uh, causing chemical of the year. <laughs> Sodium lauryl sulfate is so bad for your skin. It will dry out your skin and could possibly be linked as well to endocrine disruptors. And then boom, the word fragrance right there. So these are things that you do not want in your life. Yet there they are, right there um, in this very green looking product. Now, when you look at the United States specifically, um, this is a problem everywhere, but especially in the United States, there are over 13,000 chemicals banned from use in the United Kingdom. So the United Kingdom has said, okay, these 13,000 chemicals, we are not going to allow manufacturers to put those ingredients into consumer products. I want you to tell me, guess how many chemicals have been banned from use in the United States? So keep in mind, 13,000 chemicals banned in the UK. It is 13. There are only 13 chemicals that are banned from use in consumer products in the United States. And the last update to these laws I believe we're around 1912 or 1920. Pretty startling. So what do you do? Solution number two, become a label ninja. You need to learn how to read the labels of the products that you're buying. Now, just one example of this is don't buy anything with the word fragrance in the ingredient list. And I think this is the most important one to know about because some of the other ingredients are a little bit easier to identify because they're, they just obviously sound like chemicals that are bad for you. That makes you pause and go, yeah, maybe I don't want sodium loyal blah, 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 in my products, right? <laughs> but fragrance, a lot of people think fragrance is just this really neutral, benign, safe little ingredient that's in so many of our products. You don't have to know every single toxic chemical that's in a fragrance to know that a fragrance is toxic. So this is how you become a, a label ninja. When you see the word fragrance, you turn, you run, you hide because they're all toxic. Fragrance, the term fragrance when it's on a product label is pretty much like secret code for an engineered scent or flavoring agent that can contain 
any combination of over 3,000 stock chemical ingredients, including hormone disruptors and allergens. Fragrance formulas are protected under federal law's classification of trade secrets, and therefore, whatever ingredients they're putting in their fragrances do not have to be disclosed. And when we can see that, you know, there's 13,000 chemicals or, you know, toxins that are not allowed to be used in the UK, those are, are allowed to be used in the United States. You bet that a lot of those chemicals are going to find their way into your products. And a lot of those are going to hide underneath this term of fragrance. Now, the last problem that we have when facing this dilemma of lowering our toxic load is true healthier product options with good ingredients are usually much more expensive because they're more expensive to make, right? The reason that so many companies are using these toxic ingredients is because the profit margin on them are just crazy because they're so cheap to make. These all come from petroleum-based products, so they're very cheap to make. Um, and, and we're kind of used to the way these smell and feel as well. So really, truly healthy products can be very expensive. Um, here's an example. We've got the, the big blue soap, right? The big blue soap. It's only $4.43 for 16 ounces. This is going to last you a really long time, right? I mean, there's no doubt. This is a very cheap product that you can buy. When you compare this to a healthier alternative, this uh, EcoMe dish soap costs $12.66 for the same amount of ounces. And you probably need a, to use a little bit more of it, right? It probably doesn't even stretch as far. That's a big difference, right? We have $4.43 to $12.66. This is you know, that's a, that's a big investment um, when it's something that you're using, you know, every single month. And, and that's okay. It's okay if you have, you know, one or two products that you're willing to pay that extra amount of money for um, to get that healthier one, or if that's in your budget, you know, my budget has increased over the years. And now I do spend a lot more on these healthier products that have been vetted that I can trust are good. But if you paid that price difference, for all of the products in your home, and, and there's hundreds of products in your home. If you paid that price difference, you could easily spend a minimum of an extra thousand up to $10,000 a year just to be using healthier products. So that's where DIY can come in and really help this issue. Now, I will be the first to admit I am not the DIY queen. I, I am not the like lover of all things DIY. I, I'm not Martha Stewart over here. But you know, becoming a mom, our budget was really tight, and this stuff was really important to me. So I did. I learned how to DIY some of just the everyday things. And the way I approach DIY is the simpler the better. So I, I have some um, recipes. What we provided was solutions and recipes for some of those those toxic products that are in your home so this is just the simplified ingredient list for just a simple diy dish soap that came down to just about four dollars and 14 cents for 16 ounces so that's the same price as that purchased product um, it took me five minutes to make it if you replace all these products at once you could spend a thousand dollars right off the bat or up to five thousand dollars if you like start tearing through your house and throwing away everything that has the word fragrance in it alone and start replacing that's going to cost you a lot of money um so how can this be easier <laughs> so i want to make this easy for all of you and one thing i've heard time and time again from everyone is i just want a step-by-step -step solution to this someone to just walk me through one room of my house at a time to learn how to detox this, this life of mine and do it using essential oils because we all love essential oils. So what I'm looking for is a group of people who want an awesome, healthy home and who want to develop mastery in using essential oils. If this interests you at all, 
raise your hand. I want to see who wants to work together to create a healthy home and develop mastery over your essential oils. Yes, yes, I see lots and lots of hands raised. So you guys, I'm really excited. You guys are the first people to see this project that I've been working on. Thanks to so many of you. You're the first ones to lay eyeballs on what I'm introducing as the five week essential oils, healthy home makeover. This is a five week program to create a toxin free home environment. That's healthier for you, your family, and your pets, your little fur babies. I know so many of you have questions about essential oils and pets and what's safe to use around them and your children. So I've created the five week essential oils, healthy home makeover. And this program, what it's designed to do is by the end of this five week program, you will have developed a level of mastery in essential oils, knowing what strategies and oils work best for you, because we know it is not a one solution fits all kind of world, is it people, <laughs> right? So who here wants to learn how to find solutions and strategies using essential oils that work best for you? Yes, yes, I see lots of hands being raised, yes. Yeah, I'm not a cookie cutter approach kind of person when it comes to oils, we're all different. So um, we're also, by the end of this program, gonna learn how to eliminate all the toxic products and chemicals from your home, all of them. We're gonna replace those products with healthier essential oil alternatives. And we're gonna create a home that supports your health goals and your lifestyle, right? Again, we are not all the same. And so this program is going to approach things from lots of different angles to make it work for you. Because that's really the ultimate goal is creating a home that you love to live in, right? Who wants to love the home that they live in? A home that supports your health goals and the lifestyle that you desire. Yes, Kathy, Dee, Shelly, Easton, Sylvia. Yes, yes, yes. I am hearing you loud and clear. Um, so you may be wondering, how can we do all of that in just five weeks? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take it one week at a time. I'm going to hold your hand and walk you through this one week at a time. Each week as a community, not on Facebook, don't worry, you do not have to be on Facebook to do this. As a community, we're going to eliminate a group of toxic chemicals from your home, going room by room, section by section. With our DIY or buy sections, you're gonna figure out if your current product that you already have is something that you want to keep using. And we're gonna provide the list of chemicals ingredients that makes this so easy, you guys. You're gonna go, you're gonna look at your you know, toothpaste, flip it over, look for the chemicals we have researched for you. And you're gonna determine, do I wanna keep this? Is it something I might want to buy a replacement for? Or is it something I might want to save money um, by making this product myself? And we provide all the DIY recipes you need to do that. So week one, we're gonna start with household cleaning. That's healthy for you. And this is a big one because if your household cleaning products have toxic ingredients in them, those chemicals are gonna be spread out over every surface of your home. We want to address this right at the beginning. You know, your kids are walking on your floors, your pets are walking on your floors. Whenever you clean, you're breathing in these ingredients. So we're going to help you identify if those products you have contain toxic ingredients or not and give you several options to purchase a replacement or make your own. Okay. Um, I'm going to hop on for live DIY tutorials to show you how to make a lot of these products yourself as well. Now week two, we're gonna focus on a huge category here, toxin-free body care and beauty. This is for men and women, but women especially. This is a place where a lot of women tend to build up a really high toxic load that's so avoidable if you just know what to look for. So this toxic load comes from things we put on our skin, fragrances or smells we inhale into our lungs and certain products that we ingest. We're gonna walk through the most common body care and beauty products to discuss how to replace them and in what instances you can create your own homemade alternatives. Week three, we're gonna talk about hidden household toxins. This one's a little bit of a tricky category. When you think about household products that are harmful, 
people tend to think about the things like toothpaste, cleaning products, things like that. But there are so many more chemicals and like heavy metals that can sneak into your home and ultimately into your body. So we're going to cover all those miscellaneous items that we have toxic ingredients in, but you, um, you just might not think about them as potentially being harmful. And then day four, you know, the first part of the program is really about identifying and clearing out a lot of these things. So this module four is like one of my favorite modules. Um, we are going to focus on turning your home into an oasis. We're going to discuss how you can make rooms or sections of your home have different moods or atmospheres that activate different parts of your being. The purpose of this module is to create an environment where you can fall in love with your home all over again. I don't know about you guys, but I could really use that right now. Like, especially in the winter, who, heals, who here is feeling kind of like cooped up, tired of your home? It's winter time. It's like, you just need to get out of the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing lots of hands being raised. So we're going we're gonna to fix that for you. Okay. We're going to help you create a home oasis that you love. And then module five, the most requested module of them all, aside from the DIY section, this week is where you'll be diving into the deep end of essential oils. In this section, we're going to discuss how you can build your wellness cabinet so you can have essential oil solutions ready for whatever life throws at you. No matter how you're feeling or what's going on, you can feel confident that you can look towards your wellness cabinet for a starting point to wellness, essential oils being my number one go-to. So we're going to discuss some of the more creative uses of essential oils that are commonly overlooked, um, but have a huge benefit on your health and well-being. This is a section that you do not want to miss, especially all you essential oil lovers out there. And then for those who want to continue on, we'll have a bonus week where we dive even deeper into home wellness. This is something you'll get a lot of benefit from. Uh, this point in the program, you'll have eliminated the toxic chemicals in your cleaning supplies, your body care, your beauty supplies. You, you'll have created a home oasis and set up your wellness cabinet for whatever life throws at you. Now we want to take a deeper dive to cover things like affordable ways to have cleaner drinking water in your home, affordable air purifiers, healthy food cooking and storage, a little bit on EMFs and other things that help create an even healthier home environment. Some of these solutions are really quick and easy fixes. Others can be a little pricier. Most people won't make all these changes at one time and that's okay. As a group, we're here to help figure out what you should focus on first and what is within your budget. Um, we'll also have live Q&A sessions um, and DIY demonstrations throughout the program because um, I know how important that is for people to get that one-on-one -on -one FaceTime, get those questions answered. Um, each week, we'll have a live Q&A session where we're going to bring it all together. You'll bring your questions to me directly. We'll talk about essential oils. We'll talk about the products, anything related to that week's contents. And for DIY recipes that everyone's excited about, if you're into making your own products, we'll do them together right, right in a webinar format. So it, like I said, it's, it's going to be a community movement here. We're all going to do this together and um, in a way that is very supportive. Um, one of the assets that you'll get in the program is the Healthy Home Product Shopping Guide. This is a monster document. You'll discover hundreds of recommended healthier home products. We, our team is doing the vetting for you. We're doing the research. Can't even tell you how many hours of research, research is going into creating this document to make it so easy for you all to replace the toxic uh, products in your home and help you become a label ninja. Um, You'll also receive the Ultimate Essential Oil DIY Guide. So any product that is in your home that you want to find a DIY alternative to, we want to find you an easy solution. A few bonuses as well, like how to safely dispose of toxic products. You know, you're going through your home and you're getting rid of all these toxic products. We don't want those to just end up in the landfill. We want to protect our environment. So um, you'll get this free guide of how to safely dispose of toxic products and chemicals that talks about how you can dispose of any toxic product you have 
that's uh, in a way that has the least, in, least amount of impact on our environment. And then everyone loves essential oils, but so many people are afraid to use them with their kids and their pets. So the essential oils with pets and kids safe use guide is going to show you how to use your favorite oils with your kids and your furry little babies very safely. So with this program, what you're going to get is the five week healthy home program with the bonus week for people who want to deep dive even further. You'll get live DIY Q and A section, uh, live Q and A's and DIY sessions each week. You'll get the product toxins checklist, DIY recipes, healthy product recommendations guide, and more. Essential oils safety for cats and uh, kids and pets PDF. Sorry, I'm losing my ability to speak. All mm -hmm. of this totaled has a, a value of at least three hundred and ninety-seven dollars. But since this is the first time that we're doing this, I'm offering it for you guys for $197. This is the lowest price it's ever going to be because this is the first time that we are launching this program. Um, now, recently I've had a lot of people request one-on-one -on -one coaching with me to discuss um, essential oils more in depth, to discuss uh, thing, you know, specific things that are happening in their lives and they want that one-on-one -on -one session to really figure out the best solutions for you. So I've decided that for those who are coming through this program, I'm going to offer a one -on, nearly one-on-one -on -one session along with this course as an add-on for just a, a total of 427. So you can either get the course on its own or you can get a discounted one-on-one -on -one session with me along with this program for 427. So here's the link to go to to get the program, healthyhomedetox.com. You've got two options there. Again, $197 for the five-week course plus bonus materials or the course plus one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, a nearly one-hour session with me to get all your personal oil questions answered. Um, there's the link, healthyhomedetox.com. I hope this is something you guys are excited about. I'm really excited about this. I've really poured my heart and soul into creating something that's going to help a lot of people. If you're interested in joining the course, you want to eliminate toxins, you want to create the health-supporting home oasis that you deserve, but you're concerned about the price. I want you guys to think about this. I see we have a lot of questions. I'll get to those in a minute. If you have any questions, go ahead, enter them into the Q&A box now. We're going to get there soon. Um, remember though, guys, all of the DIY recipes, one product that you switch from conventional to healthier can cost you an extra $8 every time you purchase it, right? We saw like that example of the Dawn soap compared to that healthier alternative. It's like $8 difference. The average person has 64 toxic products in their home. So by replacing just some of the products you buy regularly with DIY recipes, you'll get that investment back in no time and have a healthier home to show for it, right? Tell, like raise your hand if you're feeling that kind of math <laughs> logic there. So if you're dealing with health challenges and using essential oils for that, it's a no brainer. Imagine not just using essential oils every once in a while, but really integrating it into your life and using it in most of the everyday products that you use. Um, I mentioned before that this is our first time running this program and I'm looking for a group of passionate essential oil lovers or newbies to get rolling with it. So I'm going to ask for your feedback throughout this course and we're gonna build the program around what you need. So I'm really looking for people who want to work with me um, and, and help make this an amazing program. I can tell there's a lot of questions here, so let's get to the Q and A's. So, okay, I'm opening up the questions, trying to find, okay, here's a question about the course. Someone asked, what if I can't attend the live presentations? I'm traveling during a few of the weeks. Great question. So if you're traveling and you can't make it to any of the presentations or you need to take a break from the course, it's not a problem. We're going to record everything. We're going to put it inside a membership area for you that you're going to have lifespan access for. So um, we're going to make sure you all have easy access to it. 
showing up live is super fun, right? Because we get to do it as like a group together, uh, but we all have lives. And so obviously we need to make the program where you can do it on your own time. So thanks, great question. Um, here is another quote. Someone's asking, is the, is the, is the 15 slots, 25 minute sessions still available? Have those sold out yet? I don't know. I am here live with you. So I'm not monitoring the sales right now, but um, I think we'll know after we're finished answering all of the questions. So, um, but if you want to sign up, if you want the course, you really want one of those one-on-one -on -one sessions with me, if you're really worried about it, um, I think what we can do, I'm going to offer, okay, for, for those that are here on the webinar, for anyone who purchases the webinar tonight, here's what we're going to do. We are going to do a one-on-one, -on -one. the first 15 people who buy the course are going to get a one-on-one -on -one session with me, but anyone else who purchases the course before this webinar is over, I'm going to open up a very private, very special, small Q&A session where you all can jump on, ask me all your questions, and we'll dive into anything you want to ask me that's essential oil related or not. You can ask me, you know, about my love life. I don't care. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. But uh, an open Q&A session. Anyone who buys the course tonight, again, only the first 15 people are going to get private one-on-one -on -one with me. Okay. That was a, a good question. Thank you for asking that. Okay. I'm going to get to some more questions here. If we were on the five-day reboot, I think they mean to say reboot. Is there a way that we could go back to the videos anytime we want to refresh our minds if we forget some of the info um, that could be on your site? Is there a way that we can save them? So this is a really great question. Um, I have been trying to think of a way to do this because I, I as well, I really hate when I'm like a part of something really great and then it just goes away. So I'm going to see if there's a way that I can archive that group somehow so that it's not necessarily active anymore so that we don't have to um, admin it for spam and things like that, but keep it open. So I'm going to say that we are going to try to do that for you guys who want to go back and, and watch those reboot videos. There, the videos themselves are also up on YouTube. There is a playlist on my YouTube channel. I think if you go on YouTube and just search Samantha Wright, Maybe Brooke can find this for us. Um, and there's a playlist for all those videos as well. I don't plan to take those down at the moment. Okay. Um, same question. Can we share this information as long as we make sure to tag you? Yes, Rhonda, you can share this information. Um, I would appreciate if you shared, yeah, the information. We'll share a replay of this video out tomorrow. You can share that replay with people as well. That would be just fine. Um, someone's asking, can we still do the reboot challenge? I haven't done it yet. Yes, again, it won't be as interactive. We're not gonna be as active in that group, but you can go back to the Facebook group and look in the table of contents to kind of do things in order or go to the YouTube channel to find those, uh, those videos that will be in order. That looks like most of our questions. I'm sorry if I didn't get to all of them. You're free to email me. And um, I hope that everyone learned a lot tonight. This was fun. Again, I saw, I'm sorry we went so long. Thank you for joining and we will send out um, all the information about the Healthy Home Detox to you all soon and the replay for tonight. I'm really excited to see a lot of you joining the Healthy Home Detox program. Um, we start on January 27th and we are going to have a blast. So take care everyone. Good night and thank you all.